Hey guys, Young Blood with you, and I wanted to go ahead and run through the uh, a new Orion that's on a concept sale now. So in talking about the Orion, let's go ahead and talk about the size, and it is huge. I mean, we're talking 170 meters long, 50 meters high, 50 meters wide, weight without any uh, cargo or, uh, or actually in it. We're talking 5,400,000 kilograms. So this is bigger than both the Reclaimer and the Carrick. Um, it's a hell of a lot heavier. This bitch is huge. So <laughs> the size of the ship is something that really surprised me. And when we got that tweet from Ben, I was like, okay, that's interesting, especially when we're talking about a ship that's going to have to navigate, uh, you know, through asteroids and actually do some of this work. Now, the max capacity to, uh, you know, cargo capacity of this is going to be 600 freight units, whereas the max ore capacity is actually going to be done in 16,288 units. So that's a lot of cargo that this thing can actually carry. Now, most of that cargo is going to be in the form of, you know, ores. It's not actually going to be in the cargo um, that we think about with some of our other ships. But um, it is worth noting that it can carry some. So it's not much of a transport ship for its size, but that's not really the point of what's, what it actually is. You know, 16,000 units of ore is a big shipment. So this this thing is really big, it's really heavy, um, and it comes with a 4TR6 engine, so not a bad size, but not really groundbreaking stuff either. Now it's got 12 TR3 maneuvering thrusters. Now the TR3 is nice, um, so I really kind of look forward to seeing how these are going to perform. Um, I would expect some good maneuverability from this, um, you know, specifically about uh, you know navigating asteroid fields successfully. Um, maneuverability, I what I really mean by that is control and precision in this case, not you know like an interceptor's uh, you know mobility overall. It's going to be more about ability to get in the right place slowly and carefully. Um, as far as the engine size go, um, TR6, I, I can't imagine pushing, you know, several million tons very well that, you know, that effectively. So I don't think this is going to be a fast ship by any means. Now, I don't think anybody should look at a mining vessel and think to themselves, yeah, this is going to be fast anyways, but something to keep in mind. Now, the power plant is a size 6, which is the same as an 890 Jump, a Carrick, and a Reclaimer. Um, and I sort of envision this thing being a power-hungry beast. You know, you got lasers all over the damn place. you got mining drills. you got a refinery that's happening at the same time. You're working on uh, spinning these big old saddlebags around. And on top of that, we've got, you know, six people on here. And uh, there's just a lot of things that are happening. So maybe it's just a really efficient ship. Um, but I was personally expecting to see, after seeing the size of this thing, probably more closer to a power plant size 7. Um, but, you know, that being said, I don't know enough about the ship really and how it's going to perform. And I'm sure, you know, if a you know, size 6 is fine for a Reclaimer, it's probably fine for an Orion. Um, just something I was a little bit, um, you know, interested in. Now, this has a max crew of six people, um, and from the mining occupation article that we got, um, I'm going to be doing a lot more detail on that actually next week, but um, we know that this ship is actually going to be using a pilot, uh, and then on top of that, we've got a beam operator, a cargo operator, and a scan operator. Um, now, it's possible that the other two spots are for redundancies, like maybe like radar operator, maybe working in the refinery, or maybe just helping with the drones or reloading the missiles that the scanner is going to be using. Um, there's all sorts of different tasks that he could maybe be doing, or maybe he's just sitting in a turret watching for pirates. Um, so with this, I would probably expect a six-man crew, um, but it probably requires a minimum of four for effective mining. Now, you could probably get by with less, but you're going to be running all over the darn place, and it's not going to be very efficient overall. Now, defense is primarily in the form of a strong size 6 shield on this. Now, it does have four turrets on it, um, but they're currently only listed as having size 1 flat guns, which may change, but to me, those two put together a ship um, that, that really kind of makes a ship that's more meant to outlast and annoy its attackers, um, you know, trying to get them just to flee and say it's not worth the price. Um, this would probably be a ship that's not suited for life on its own, but, you know, in the vast emptiness of space, you know, you probably want some help. You know, this ship is probably going to need some, you know, almost like a task force to really be working in full effectiveness. You know, I, I kind of envision um, having explorers tracking down new locations to drill. Um, you've got combat operations that's uh, protecting the bigger ships. And then you got the Orions actually going to town and drilling in there for their cargo. Um, you know, on top of that, the description even talks about pairing it with transport ships to send that cargo off into further destinations. So maybe you've got some Bandu merchantmen hanging around where then after it's the process or the ore has been refined and processed, then you send it off to the merchantman who then takes it to a port. I think there's a lot of possibilities with a ship like this. Um, it's just hard to say what role it's actually going to take. And I, on its own, I can't imagine it being very successful. So the, the Orion's actually coming with multiple independent mining drones. Um, it has an onboard refinery and a system of saddlebag class storage units. Now, I think when we look at the drones, chances are that they're going to be collecting stuff that you've broken off of the rocks, um, you know, using your, laser, or your lasers and mining tools to bring back to the ship. 
Um, obviously, the refinery on board is probably there to help process the raw materials that, that you've brought on board. So you're not you know, really having to haul to another location just to pay for them to refine the same things that you could now do on board in Orion. And the saddlebag storage is very cool looking, but it's that odd and it's it's that odd spinning section in the middle as far as I can tell. Um, and I'm not sure why the animations are actually showing um, this storage section actually spinning. You know, I don't know if it's because it helps to compress the ore towards the outside of the storage, meaning you can fit more in there. Um, I don't know if it's some gravity device that, you know, we haven't seen with the other ships. It's just a design in this RSI class ship. Or maybe it's just there because it looks cool. You know, and I guess another possibility could be that, you know, it doesn't normally spin, that those animations that we've seen with that are actually just showing how it would actually rotate. Um, so maybe the refinery automatically puts them in there. So maybe it only moves, you know, one notch at a time. So you're filling up different spots. I don't really know what the purpose is of that. Um, it's cool looking, but I would like to actually see what the reasoning behind the spinning is from somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. <laughs> Um, so the, Ori the Orion is going for $325. It comes with LTI. It gets the industrial, uh, you know, the asteroid hanger, and it gets hanger swag, and is on sale until March 2nd. So on to the question that I'm sure everybody's asking, and the purpose of me actually doing these videos, is $325 for the Orion worth it? And $325 is a lot for a ship, but if you want to mine, this is probably what you're going to want to get in the long run. You know, it's hard to say that this ship isn't worth it, um, because it's the only one that we actually have that's a you know dedicated miner at the moment. That's kind of like saying something like the Herald isn't really worth it for an info runner. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff that we can compare it to. Um, either way, though, um, there will be other ships to compete with the Orion at some point. Maybe it's variants of other ships. Maybe it's just putting a mining laser on another ship. Um, this isn't going to be the only mining option in the end. At, you know, at the end. So I think here's what it comes down to in my mind. And is the question is: Is your heart set on mining? Um, being your ideal pastime in the persistent universe and if so then this is probably worth it at least at the moment you know other things to consider though would be how many people do you have to play with on a regular basis you know a, probably a four-man you know crew is going to be kind of that minimum skeleton crew base um, and then we come down to if you don't have those four people how do you feel about npcs you know, we don't really know about how effective the NPCs are going to be. I'm assuming, and they've talked about making, you know, different levels of quality of NPC, but since we don't really know, are you comfortable rolling the dice on that? Um, you know, also, this ship isn't really set up too well to defend itself, so, um, you know, do you have a support team? And I think for people that are in organizations with more military ships to kind of help protect them, then this is a great investment. But if you're planning on taking this big ship that potentially carries a ton of valuable cargo that's slow as hell while full um, and has limited weapons, I think you're going to be a pirate, you know, a pinata to pirates. So um, I can't help but think that if you don't have that protection, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit tough to get by. Now, if you do have that protection, though, I think this could be a real money maker. Now, I'm going to do a follow up video on this uh, talking about the mining process more probably on Monday. Um, so if you have more questions about it at that time, let me know. And if you're not sure yet, sit tight because you have about 10 days to figure this all out. That being said, I think for the potential revenue that you could bring in from a ship like the Orion and kind of the cool nature of it, and I think it's really something that generates good teamwork for those in an organization or that are going to have a constant group of friends to play with, I think the Orion is worth it. For everybody else, probably not. So... There you go. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it helped. Have yourself a great day and take care.